Hey yo, it's Planet Plipcam here and welcome to episode 9 of Missouri Zoo Gardens. Now in this episode we're going to be finishing the bobsled coaster that I built a few episodes back. Definitely check that video out if you haven't already. And we're going to be going through a time lapse for a couple of minutes and then we'll head into a real time section and then we'll go for a ride POV at night at the end of the video. So I'd just quickly like to say thank you for everyone's engagement in this series. I'm really loving creating these videos and you are making it so much fun. So if you are new, uh, I would really love if you could subscribe to the channel so you can join the community and uh, help and suggest as I build through this Missouri Zoo Gardens project. So I'm now going to take you through what I'm actually building in these time lapses. So as you can see that I'm finishing off now, I'm just doing this kind of hanger ride station and I use the corrugated roofing pieces and just advance moves them to make a really nice curve in the roof. And this was really inspired by Mass Bandit when he collaborated with Geekism for the, the inspiration really for this series, the Azuri Gardens. So that was a great inspiration for that build. And then I really wanted to add some overheads to this coaster. I didn't want it to be boring and just flying around. It's already in the coaster, this kind of coaster, you've got these huge thick walls of the bobsled and it really does take away from any theming that you can do on the ride. So I really wanted to focus on the overheads because that is what you can really see at the end of the day on this coaster. So yeah, we made these with all of these beams and uh, just coloured them. I found my colour scheme and then we moved on just to sort out the queue line that we started in last episode. So I also found this font which was made on the uh, Steam Workshop for the PC version of Planet Coaster. And uh, yeah, I made this font and pretty much copied it. And uh, it worked really, really well. And used the wires here. And we're just advanced rotating these basic shape pieces using some of the squares and the rectangles. And they've all just been just moved and then we've duplicated that layer to give it some more depth as you'll see very soon here. So we go for another uh, layer, we go for a yellow and we go for a green and you'll see that in more detail when we go for a proper real time section in a minute. So that's that sign then, we'll just move on into the next time lapse section as we just finish off and fade into the real time section. So here it is then, a brilliant view of the park really because at the start this was just two flat rides, a one flat ride and a coaster placed down and as you can see that I've put on the screen now you can see that I've put before we put all of this foliage in and until this episode it was all really bare so I'm so happy with how it has really turned out to be honest and using loads of these kind of African adventure trees some of them that did come in the adventure DLC they worked really well and it's made a really really nice backdrop for this ride so we're just going to have a quick explore, we'll show you this sign that I made quickly, the entrance sign here, and we just used the barrels and some of the random adventure pieces, lots of the boxes. Obviously when we get the studios pack we get some more kind of storage options, so I'm looking forward to that and uh, we can just fill out this area. So that's the entrance sign, you head down the queue line, we just tried to light it up a bit with some of the bamboo kind of lights, and then you head down here under the track and you head around through this kind of rocky section. We've got these walls with all of the ivy on. We've just used some of the fence pieces just to block off the bottom of the station with the logs. Then we've added this uh, kind of viewpoint where you can look through the bamboo to the end block section. And you'll see up here, the main section of the queue is raised up and you've got these sci-fi panels. These are like the walkways. I've added some wood to the bottom of those and used the logs and they've made these really kind of realistic safe so you can look through and see the bobsled coaster go through and around you and it's really nice that it interacts with the ride in that way so i'm really happy with that and then again using some of the lanterns i didn't want to do, overdo it as it is a jungle kind of theme and there obviously wouldn't be too much artificial light in the jungle so you head down and then you go around again so it is a bit of a pointless you're going up for no reason but it is all good for the scenery of the queue. And then we've got some more overheads just using the pieces that I used before, loads of the beams. And then you'll see that we head into the station. So I'm really happy with this station and uh, just trimmed it all off. As you can see there, obviously the time lapse that you got was very bare bones of the station. And now you can see it's fully fledged 
and it's all trimmed and uh, themed how I'd like it. So uh, yeah, I wanted to keep it as open as I could. Obviously it's in the jungle, I didn't want it to just be a big box. And I was really happy with how it turned out. And the nature really does enclose you in it, even though it is very open you are kind of trapped in this environment. So I really like that and obviously it incorporates the top of this roof and it actually um, has the coaster going through it. So that's a really cool element there. So that's that bit and we've just put some more storage down as you can see and then more fences. So uh, yeah, that is, that is pretty much the station. Just added some lighting and then some uh, safety features just for the, uh, the uh, staff member there. Added some signage, the ropes, and as you can see up above, you've got these fans, the propellers work really well for that. And I tried, to, I messaged uh, quite a few members of the community, uh, certainly Tommy Paul, and he was helping me with the uh, AC kind of units and how to do it. And uh, it is kind of difficult without the studios pack, I must say, and with no TMTK, but I got there in the end, just used some of the signage and the sci fi pipes, so that worked out okay in the end, so I was quite happy with that. Elsewhere in the station, I haven't mentioned, I used some of the planks just to uh, theme the path of the base of the station. So we'll just have a quick uh, zoom around the rest of the ride. As you can see, we'll, t we'll take you on a uh, nighttime POV of the ride later. But uh, yeah, I really like how it's like a jungle. And you can just uh, see glimpses of the coaster. I really wanted to hide as much of the coaster as I could. And uh, I didn't want it to be protruding too much from all of the foliage, so I'm really happy with that how how that went, sorry. Uh, yeah, we've just added some more overheads here, uh, just get the guests ducking down. As, as you can see, there's a glimpse of the uh, plane there. I've just used lots of plane wreckages, as after all, this jungle is kind of like a, a wreckage plane area, and that really complements the flat ride as well, which has lots of plane wreckages. So there's this tunnel here that you saw in the time lapse. I've just used all of the foliage around here, some like banana trees and all the bamboo. I've just added some more lights and at night it looks really cool around this corner. And uh, this will be the edge of the park, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, I just had to block that out with some foliage so that you won't see the rest of the blank landscape in the map. So that's really all that I've got up to. I've done a huge amount of work really and you can see the overhead there compared to the photo that you saw of uh, how bare it was. It really is all coming together now and this area of the park is definitely my favourite at the moment. All of the plane rides, it all just comes together and uh, yeah really realistic also like you could see this being in a park. Um, and then there's more rock work here, we'll just take you through the exit. Uh, we've used all of this fence work and I'm not too sure if I'm too keen on this fence it might be a bit like a bit uh, not very realistic and uh, maybe needs some more safety in it but we've got a playing wreckage here and I think uh, we're gonna go into nighttime just to have a quick look at how this looks I've added all the smoke effects and the fire effects and then sunk down loads of foliage just to make it uh, look a bit bare and uh, not too grown like it wants to be a bit overgrown but then not too well kept so it looks quite good and here's the night time you can see all the lanterns I didn't want to overdo it so you've there's only one section really where you can see the lanterns from the path of the main park so it all blends in really nicely you've got the vertigo plane ride and that looks really cool just flying around with that more neon yellow and then you've got more natural light and you've got the runway lights as well as you can see there. So that is basically your look at what I have done in this section. And uh, one last thing to mention would be that I've added this section just another overhead. And around here you can see it's all tarmacked and we'll have some uh, backstage around here. I've just trimmed all of this with the beams and uh, around here I think I'll be having some more guest services and things like that, photo opportunities. We've uh, just got to have a look at that. So we've got all the backstage. This will be in here with the switch track. I just need to remove all of the supports and custom support it. That'll be in a future episode, maybe not next episode. I'll see when I get round to doing that. So that'll be an exciting thing to do. I haven't done many switch tracks in the game, but I'm really excited to do one here.
And then after looking at that, the only other real things to look at is that I'm planning on doing a custom sign on the edge of this kind of wall of the supports of the coaster. And as you can see now, I want to put it along there. So it's really the wall and the sign. You'll just see it as you come into this area and it will really entice you into this queue line and you'll definitely know where the ride is. So maybe you could help me in the comment section, some kind of plane wreck wreckage uh, kind of themed uh, name. That would be really helpful if you could think of one in the comment section and uh, we'll see if we can come up with one together. And uh, yeah, I think it will look really good there. And I do enjoy doing custom signs, so uh, a good name will fit perfectly there. And then you can see here, we've got this vast uh, landscape here. There's a big gap. I've been leaving it for quite a while now. And uh, the elephant in the room, room, I need to address it. And I'm so excited to be getting into this project. You should see maybe next episode what we are doing in that gap, but there is certainly something exciting. So that will be the end of this episode. Don't forget you have your nighttime POV of the bobsleigh coaster now. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please do like it and subscribe if you are new for more videos just like this and Planet Coaster Console tutorials and uh, different kind of reviews. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave any comments that you may have down below. And uh, I'm in most of the uh, Facebook uh, console Planet Coaster console uh, groups and I'm also on our Discord so feel free to contact me there. I hope you enjoy your ride on the nighttime POV, the Bob's Head Coaster and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.